hi everybody welcome to my channel and um, today we will cook my infamous lasagna which is a vegetarian lasagna let me just close the door really quickly because my cats are sleeping right now so today sadly not cooking with my cats but don't turn off i will show you how to make delicious lasagna I turn on my oven for I preheated I'm preheating my oven right now for 350 um, right 350 uh, Fahrenheit in the oven and let's get started so you will need like a bowl with some spatulas you will need a few seasoning like salt pepper oregano leaves and cinnamon go grab it quickly you need a lot of cheese like get a big fat package with cheese you will need spinach a bag of spinach you will need ricotta cheese okay you will need garlic you will need onion you will need some corn you don't need to add corn uh, do the way you like it and some tomatoes for the tomato sauce or you can I have I'm gonna make my own tomato sauce so I'm using um, this is frozen tomato mark paste and this is uh, tomatoes that I want to use up but you can use just a regular tomato marinara sauce so you don't need to do this uh, step and of course you need lasagna noodles the most important I forgot of course oh my goodness lasagna noodles you can get the cheap ones uh, or you can get the, the more expensive ones I think it's the same thing but anyway let me grab something because I forgot okay. we're gonna do this without cooking the noodles so I learned this trick okay so you grab like a bowl first of all you grab a bowl and you put I'm never using like I'm never using the whole noodles so you're just gonna use half of the noodles of the whole lasagna package okay so like half of it like this much and you put it in here in this bowl of course take a bigger bowl I don't have a bigger bowl right now uh, I don't know if I have a bigger bowl is this gonna is this gonna fit nope well I'm gonna like anyways I'm just gonna keep them like this so you take half of the noodles and you cover them fully with hot water okay cover them with hot water so I'm gonna get some hot water right now and I'm gonna pour it all in so you pour some hot water over the noodles like this and while you're preparing the other stuff they're gonna be all soaked in of course you need more water than this so I'm gonna get more water right now Okay, I got more water, so I'm gonna pour more water in this, in these noodles. So this is a trick I learned and it's pretty cool because you, they're not gonna be tangled. But you can cook them the way you like it, okay?
So you're gonna all cover them up with hot water. I'm just gonna let them sit in this water for like 20 minutes. Okay, that's how it's gonna look like. Of course, take a container that is bigger than mine because mine is not that big, but as they get soft, they're gonna eventually fit in. So I'm gonna let them sit on the side. So why do snowdolls soak all in? Turn on, uh, turn on, and uh, uh, take a panel and turn on on uh, medium heat. And you don't need to do. You can skip the step, but I'm gonna do my own a tomato sauce. I'm gonna pour in some olive oil in the in the panel, in the hot panel, and I'm gonna just just dump in my. I'm just gonna dump in all my tomatoes in here to make the sauce and I'm gonna dump in the tomato mark paste you know this is the one that you get in a in a can but I'm freezing it always so because I always have too much and I don't want to waste it so you just I don't know if you can see you just put it on the panel and you do your own sauce then you put some salt and pepper in it i'm gonna put some salt and pepper on it a little bit salt a little bit pepper i use the steak seasoning from costco i don't know if you can see it but that's what i use and i'm gonna put a little bit in it in there and what else i'm gonna do and i'm gonna ch uh, chop in there the whole uh, onion okay you will need onion garlic so if you have your marinara sauce or whatever sauce you use just pour it in the panel and then use the whole use the whole um onion chop the whole onion and you will need garlic to make the flavor better that's what i do okay so i'm just chopping the onion as you can see I'm gonna turn uh, the heat on high actually because I don't know my oven takes forever to heat up so just don't burn the marinara sauce okay Ooh, I smell the onion guys so you dump all the onion in the panel okay I hope you can see it. I don't know. Can you see that? I hope you will see all the steps I do. I pour in a little bit more of olive oil. I'm going to show you how it's supposed to look like. This is how it looks like. Okay. It's not cooking yet, but I mixed all the ingredients in here. It's all wet over here. I don't know why. So I pour, pour all the ingredients in here. Onion, tomatoes, and the tomato paste okay so i'm gonna make a nice sauce tomato sauce here but you can just use a regular uh, marinara sauce and you can just like mix the onions and the garlic sauce in there okay i mean garlic or garlic paste okay i hope you can see me now okay so i'm gonna chop the rest of the onion you don't need to use all that onion just if you want to if you are not a fan of onion just use half of the onion okay <laughs> i love onion so i'm gonna add a lot okay i'm gonna add it all in here all the onion get rolled in there and i'm gonna add some of garlic this is a chopped mixed garlic already that I got in Costco. No, I got in Walmart, I'm sorry. So just put in like two, one or two spoons, whatever you like. If you like a lot of garlic, put a little bit more. I put in two spoons in here right now. And I let it like, I'm gonna let it like, uh, I'm gonna mix it a little bit. 
and I hope hopefully it becomes a beautiful sauce okay oh my eyes all right so now hold on a second so I'm back um, now you would I don't know what's up with my lighting lightning I don't know it was just uh, it turned off so I had to like rearrange everything so you guys can see me better so now you take um, a bowl okay and then I have a half bag of a spinach left here so you can take more than half whatever you prefer okay I'm just gonna take half because that's all I have right now you dump it all in here there's more in here you dump it all in okay you dump it all in and then you use the whole ricotta cheese this is um 15 Oz okay a small one and you just dump it all in here okay all this in that's how it's gonna look like oh you need one egg I forgot one egg guys hold on use one egg dump it all in here I forgot the egg part sorry guys blame it on me okay then you put your uh, corn I would say like one can of corn or half can uh, whatever you prefer half to one can of corn um, this is not even half bag okay this is uh, 32 hours so I'm using like not even half of it I would say 10 hours of, of corn you can instead of the corn you can use like carrots or whatever you want I like corn so I'm gonna use the corn it's gonna look like this guys okay and then you're gonna add some salt I would say like one fourth of a tablespoon salt not too much then you will add some oregano leaves okay oregano leaves you will add like half the spoon you can add like one spoon actually add like one spoon of oregano in here and then add some cinnamon i have cinnamon here so like half oh half the spoon of cinnamon tablespoon okay I know this looks big but it's actually a tablespoon it's supposed to be one and then you just just uh, like nutmeg if you want to you don't need to I like nutmeg a lot so I'm just gonna add like one one fourth of a spoon of nutmeg like this much in here you can add a little bit more if you want to but not too much and then I add pepper I have steaks, uh, steak seasoning Montreal steak seasoning from um, Costco is very good and they have a lot of pe different peppers in here and seasonings and I like to just add a little bit not too much and then I will just mix it all up just mix it well I'm gonna show you okay I'm gonna use the bigger spoon hold on mix it all in that's how it's supposed to look like okay mix it well and now after it's mixed we are gonna see how is our sauce doing our so sauce is doing good you just mix it around like I said, you can just uh, buy the marinara sauce, okay? Like I can feel the tomatoes getting soft. Um, whoop, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually smash them a little bit. So I will show you right now what I mean with smashing them. I take like this spatula and I'm just gonna like stump them. So, showing you right now what I mean by that, like this. So you see, 
it's becoming like a nice sauce but be careful it's very hot so yeah look how beautiful the sauce looks mm, this looks so good this looks really good guys so the sauce is like you can see it's like ready okay mm. and put that on the side I'm sorry if I'm shaking too much I'm not a professional yet with the camera and stuff so I'm gonna turn my sauce down like off right now so I mix this ricotta cheese and spinach I feel like I should put more spinach in here or like more veggies but I guess um, that should be fine right just mix it well in the meantime you can shred get shredded cheese or shred your cheese unfortunately i don't have a like shredder or like i do but i'm too lazy to shred it i hate to shred stuff so i'm just gonna like cut it one by one of course if you need more cheese just um get more cheese i don't know how much cheese you like i don't like too much cheese on my um on my lasagna i know i'm weird uh, let me know comment down below if you like a lot of cheese or you like just a little bit i don't think i feel like i'm getting chubby from cheese for whatever reason do you think sometimes you eat certain things like you would think it's healthy to eat cheese and then you're like getting fat from it because your body for some reason doesn't doesn't it's like not accepting certain things you know what you eat because for example if i eat zinc you know like the zinc vitamins um or magnesium or something my body is like i literally want to like throw up from those uh, vitamins so i have to be careful sometimes what i eat or the amount i'm eating so yeah so that's why i'm trying not to put too much cheese on my lasagna but go ahead if you love cheese break all it on baby mm. I love to make YouTube videos guys this is like my dream comes true I tried to like um, make videos before like doing makeup and stuff but I kind of like gave up about this because I felt like makeup didn't make me so happy um, I don't know like do you have a YouTube channel let me know how did you like give up on youtube did you do youtube what did you do tell me i want to know so i got like good three handfuls full three handfuls full with cheese filled with cheese okay that's what i'm gonna use i feel like it's a lot of cheese already because i have this cheese and i have the ricotta in there oh i think it's 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 enough so now uh, i'm gonna drain my um my noodles and i'm gonna start to layer it up okay let me just get my noodles they got soft but not too soft guys like they got soft like i can bend them if you feel like your noodles need more then keep them a little bit longer in there if you think the noodles don't need that long don't keep them longer they look like this right now you know okay so now comes the true so we're gonna put the noodles we're gonna layer it all up can you see that hold on i'm gonna try to change my camera a little bit i'm sorry guys oh yeah like this so yeah so i'm gonna layer the noodles now so I'm gonna do it in front of you here so you will see exactly what I'm doing so I'm gonna put the noodles like this I know they are not all equal but it's okay so I'm gonna do it this way okay I'm gonna put first the noodles and then I'm gonna do my my sauce okay I feel like I should put like water in there but it's okay. So 
So I'm gonna put my sauce in there. If you want to like make the sauce more like more like spreadable, you could put either like some oil in there or like some water. I think I'm gonna pour like a tiny bit of water in here to make the sauce more like you know spreadable. So yeah, I put the sauce on here right now, and now I'm gonna put some. Ricotta cheese and stuff on it. Yum. So I'm putting ricotta cheese now on. Okay. Oof. Yuck. And I'm gonna put a little bit cheese on it, but not too much. Like I said, I don't wanna have too much cheese in here. So now I'm gonna put the. Make another layer with the. with the noodles in here and you guys know what I like to spread the noodles like horizontal and then diagonal like layer it all up like this way so now I'm gonna do another layer of of the sauce the marinara sauce okay like this that's looking so good guys it smells so good okay and now I'm gonna put the ricotta cheese again on top like this all right and I'm gonna put some cheese on top not too much and then another layer. I think that's gonna be the last layer actually. Let's see how it's gonna turn around. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be the last layer of noodles. Okay. Okay, the last layer of noodles and I'm gonna put first right now the ricotta cheese on top. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the um, and after the ricotta cheese this layer is different I'm gonna put first the ricotta cheese and now I'm gonna put the tomato sauce on top okay oh, this is hard guys like recording while you're cooking I think it's the hardest thing ever I feel like when you do it like a makeup video or something else you just literally sit down but while you cook, you have to like think about what you're doing and then you're like moving around and you want to make sure that you, the people see everything, like you guys see everything. Okay, so now the perfect amount as you can see. Ooh, I don't want to like spill it over. And now the cheese, the best part, right? Who doesn't love cheese? I love cheese, but like I said, I can't eat too much of it like this a lot of cheese i don't know why i didn't buy like the ready cheese like it's shredded already i don't know sometimes i'm not thinking i guess so that's how it looks like guys now you're gonna cover it with foil i'm gonna get the foil right now you get aluminium foil okay and then you just cover it up and you will cook this in the oven for 45 minutes in the foil and then after 45 minutes you will take out off the foil and then you will see if the cheese is gonna melt and get nice and crispy for like another 10 minutes or so I'm gonna recheck which I'm gonna put it in the oven right now it's nice and hot 350 degrees okay and then see you after it's done and what will tell you how, for how long it was actually cooking because it depends on your oven guys 350 degrees or 375 depends on your oven for 45 uh, minutes and after this you take off the foil but be careful it's gonna be so hot and then another like 10 maybe 20 minutes depends on your cheese 
if it gets nice and bubbly and like kind of brown then you can take it out and try it before you take it out okay make sure it's the noodles are a, a very soft and nice okay see you then so guys i just took out the lasagna from the oven this is how it looks like it looks so good guys look at this yum uh, so i took out uh, so i um I put the lasagna for 45 minutes with the foil and then after 45 minutes 350 degrees I took out the foil and then I let the lasagna cook without the foil for another 10 minutes um, and then after 10 minutes I uh, turned everything off and I left the house and I left the lasagna inside the oven so yeah so that's now I came back from uh, from my half hour walk and look the lasagna looks so delicious I'm gonna eat it right now I'm gonna try it and guys you really need to try this recipe thank you so much for watching subscribe like and comment my channel thank you so much guys bye so guys I finished my lasagna thank you so much for watching as you can see my cat came right now the other one and she's waiting for me to try the lasagna <laughs> Ah, she's like here, wait, hold on. Ah, Princess, come on here. Well, she doesn't want to come, but Puma is here and he's smelling my delicious lasagna. <laughs> he loves when I cook, I'm telling you. He wanted cheese. Oh, that's so hot. It's still so hot, guys. So, like, do you want me to try it? Should I try it? <laughs> it smells so good, guys. Hold on. I'm gonna try a piece for you guys, okay? Let's see if it's well done. Oh my goodness, it's, it looks so yummy. Ah! Mm. It looks so good, guys. Look at this deliciousness. Yum! How many you want some? <laughs> mm, let me try it. Hot. It's really hot, guys. So, mm. yeah, really good, really, really good. Perfecto. I can feel so much the um the tomatoes, but you know what, guys? There is something missing. I should put more salt in it. Like I didn't put enough salt, and I like salty things. So. My favorite with lasagna is um, to eat it with, um, guess what, with um, with salad on the side. Do you like lasagna with salad? Comment down below and we say goodbye guys. We're gonna eat right now. I love you. Bye.